Recently the new ninja structure deck came out and I made a video about it but today I decided to showcase a detailed deck list with 3 different combos and teach you everything I know about this deck. Let's start with the 1 card combo which is basically only Hanzo. I'm gonna normal summon Hanzo then activate the effect and search out my ninjutsu art of duplication and add it from my deck to my hand and from here I'm just gonna go and set it onto the field and pass turn which is basically it. Then immediately in the draw phase I'm gonna activate the duplication and tribute my Hanzo which then allows me to special summon a number of ninja monsters that have a combined level equal to the tributed monster and i'm gonna go for a face up to body face down to body and also the green ninja face down as well it's really important to go like this because you need the Tobari and the Green Ninja onto the field go and activate these effects. Then ideally you would want to activate the effect of Tobari once your opponent has two cards on the field to get the most out of the interruptions. And I'm gonna go into Yaguramaru by using Tobari and also the Green Ninja onto the field and summon it which then allows me to activate Chainlink 1 Yaguramaru, banish one ninja monster from my graveyard, it doesn't matter which one, it just shouldn't be the Green Ninja and banish one card on the field and then chain link 2 activate the green ninja and flip face down your opponent's monster so these are two interruptions off of just one card which is actually pretty good and it's pretty fair considering the fact that it's only one hanzo on the field now i'm gonna go over the second combo which basically requires a hanzo and also mitsu and i'm gonna start by normal summoning my hanzo and activate the effect for this combo it is required for your opponent to have one card on the field to be able to use the scroll of mystery and i'm gonna go and search out the notebook of mystery here then I'm gonna special summon Mitsu from my hand and afterwards I am gonna use both of my monsters and go into cross sheep to continue my combos. Cross sheep is an essential card for this deck's combos by the way. It is extremely important to play this card and none of these combos are possible without it. Now I'm gonna go over and activate the notebook of mystery which allows me to set one ninja and one ninjutsu art both for my deck and graveyard but I need to go one of each. So I cannot set for example two ninjas or two arts. It needs to be one of each and I'm gonna go and set the Hanzo onto the field and then from the deck I'm gonna go and set the Iron Digger, Ninjutsu Art of Iron Digger. And afterwards, I'm gonna go over and activate the Ninjutsu R2, which allows me to equip it onto the opponent's monster or my own monster. Now, typically, if your opponent does have a face of monster, you can use the effect of the Iron Digger once it's equipped, banish one monster from your graveyard, and pop the opponent's monster, which then destroys also the Iron Digger and is a two and it is a two for one. And you can then use the effect of Iron Digger space summon a body that is in your banish zone. But also, even if the opponent doesn't have a monster flipped face up, you can equip it to your cross ship then activate the effect and pop itself to summon the monster again. Then by using both of my monsters, I'm gonna go into one of the fusion monsters. Now it really depends on what you wanna go for. You can go into Yaguramaru if your opponent has something that you wanna banish or go into Mazen if your opponent is about to activate something or you think that it's about to activate something so you can space someone an additional body. In that case, I'm gonna go into Mazen because things are a little bit simpler with it. So I'm gonna use both of my monsters, summon it in the zone that Cross Sheep is pointing to which then allows me to activate cross sheep's effect and special summon from my graveyard my Hanzo. From here I am gonna be able to also use Hanzo's effect and special summon and add from my deck to my hand a copy of Baku and this is another extender for the deck because Baku's effect allows you to special summon it if it's added from your deck to your hand. And I'm gonna go over and special summon it to the field which then allows me to activate the effect and bring back my iron digger to my hand by using the effect and that will allow me to go and equip it to one of my monsters. Now from here there are two ways to go for it. If you want to go for the OTK combo you're gonna go into Boro Sword which I'm gonna showcase right now but there is also a second way to do it. You can go into either a Palooza or three negates a Palooza if you're not gonna be able to finish the game this turn or go into Saizu, activate Saizu effect, set one ninjutsu art then go into a Palooza two negates. But in that case scenario i'm gonna showcase the borrow sort otk because it is the most interesting one to see for the two cards combo and it is a turn two combo anyways for the majority of times so this just is a little bit better. Now I'm gonna activate the Iron Digger and equip it to my Boro Sword, which then makes my Boro Sword a ninja. And that is really important because Mazen has an effect that all ninjas can attack your opponent directly. And then you are able to just go ahead and attack with your Boro Sword twice per battle phase with 7000 attack and then an additional 2500 which you can also do directly in that case i don't do it directly but you get the idea and you just OTK your opponent absolutely directly. That's the combo number two. Now moving on to the combo number three. Now it is time for the third and final combo which uses Hanzo with Mitsu and also Green Ninja. Mitsu and Green Ninja are just two extenders to use for the deck. And I'm gonna start by normal summoning my Hanzo onto the field and activate its effect which then allows me to add none other than the Iron Digger which is the only combo that actually adds Iron Digger off of Hanzo's effect but it is the coolest one of them all in my opinion. Then I'm gonna activate the effect of Mitsu 
Pikachu and special summon it onto the field because I control a ninja monster and then that will let me activate green ninjas effect as well as the third body flip me to face down and special summon it as well and then I'm gonna be able to go into none other than the MVP of this deck cross sheep here this card is absolutely incredible and it is the best card in this deck it does all of the combos and it is a path to all of the combos then i'm gonna activate the effect of oh no wait i didn't need to activate the green ninja's effect but you know it's just whatever you can activate green ninja's effect you can just avoid activating it it doesn't change the combos in any way shape or form but then i'll activate the iron digger targeting the cross sheep now if your opponent does control a monster you can equip it to itself and pop it but now because the opponent doesn't control a monster i will then just equip it to cross ninja and pop itself which then allows me to activate the secondary effect when iron digger is destroyed i can target one monster in my banish zone and special summon it i'm gonna special summon back the green ninja and that will get me two bodies on the field to then go into fusion summons from here i'm gonna go and fusion summon into my mazen by using these two and this way when i special summon it to the cross sheep zone it will allow me to activate cross sheep's effect and bring back my hanzo onto the field once hanzo is onto the field i can use hanzo's secondary effect and when it's special summoned i get to add one ninja monster from deck to the hand and i'm gonna add the last extender which is gonna be baku here and baku basically has the effect that when it's added you can just special summon it from your hand onto the field and once it is special summoned it has an additional effect that allows you to return one ninja or ninjutsu art it doesn't matter what you return because it is turn one i'm just gonna go for the mitsu but it really doesn't make a difference what you go for and from here there are two ways to continue playing one is to go into three negates of palooza by using cross ship and baku and hanzu and the other way is to go into saizo activate the effect and then go into two negates of palooza i am gonna go with the saizo because it is a little bit of a different combo and it's a little bit more fun and in my opinion it can be a little bit better and you will see why in a little bit now i'll activate saizos effect and it will allow me to set one ninjutsu art from my deck to the field now there are two choices to go for you can either go for duplication or dancing leaves i am gonna go for duplication because it is the better option in my opinion and you're gonna see why in the second part of this particular combo and then by using the saizo and also the cross sheep i am able to go into two negates a palooza and it's safe to say that i can just pass turn and during the opponent's main phase you're gonna see what will happen now in a little bit now for the second part of the combo the opponent start by activating a spell card and i'm gonna change the maintenance effect here which will then allow me to go and special summon my jewel from the deck and i think that jewel is the best target for that situation you're gonna see why when you special summon jewel and the opponent does a play or has a monster on the field or monsters you can then use geos's effect and flip them face down permanently which is just floodgate trap hole and from there this is not even the only thing you can do to interrupt your opponent Opponents. once the opponent goes into a monster you can then activate geus's effect and permanently flip it face down as i said but this is not even the only thing you can actually do you can also change the duplication targeting the geo which will just tribute it and then you can special summon ninjas from your deck up to combined level of eight and from the deck you are gonna go for one copy of tobari in that zone you're also gonna go for a copy of kagero in attack position and you're also gonna go for one more card in that situation i'm gonna choose the green and you're gonna see why in a tiny little bit and then you can special summon an additional monster but i'm not actually gonna do that because i'm just gonna show you what the deck can do with these three only i can activate kagerus's effect from here and also bring back one monster from my graveyard and i'm gonna go and target the hanzu to special summon it now the effect doesn't trigger but it's still an additional body and then i'm gonna activate the effect of tobari fusion summon during an opponent's turn go into yaguramaru by using tobari and also the green ninja and then you can activate chain link one yaguramaru's effect and banish something onto the field then activate chain link to the green ninja if your opponent has a face up monster on the field and flip it face down as you can see these are a lot of interruptions and i'm currently just gonna use the effect but flip face down one of my own monsters just to showcase you guys and it's not even gonna be a flip face down you can also flip face up a monster but you don't want to do that because it makes no sense to do it and this is what you get for three card combo it is absolutely insane what the deck can do with three cards and that's the true power of ninjas obviously these are not all of the combos but these are just some of the more important ones to know depending on what you have in your hand things may vary for example if you have to body you can use its effect and special summon a monster from your hand by sending it to the graveyard which will then change the course of your combo significantly but now let's move on to the deck list okay so this is the deck list for those of you who have played ninjas you know all of these cards but to those of you who haven't 
I'm gonna explain them really quickly. I played three copies of Tubari, three copies of Mitsu, one copy, two copies of Green Ninja, one copy of Baku, three copies of Hanzu, which is the most essential card for the deck because it adds you the ninjutsu arts and the ninjas. I then play one copy of Kagero and one copy of Jiu with two copies of the ninjutsu art, Iron Digger, and three copies of the Notebook of Mystery with one copy of the Duplication and three copies of Dancing Leaves. And the last ninjutsu card that I play is the Tenchi Kaimei, which is the field spell. And it's not a necessary card to play, but it is a fun card to play with one copy of Reinforcement of the Army as a way to search out my Hanzo and one Port of Prosperity for consistency improvements. Out of the hand traps, three important, three maxi, three ash blossom, with two cold by two book of moon, and one cross out for the staples. To go briefly with the effects, to body is basically your extender, and it also has a secondary effect where it can fusion summon during your opponent's turn. Mitsu is another extender of the deck that allows you to special summon itself to control a ninja, and it also has a cool secondary effect that allows you to flip face up and face down a bunch of things. Green Ninja is another great form of extender and also a decent form of uh, interruption. If a monster is special summon, you can special summon this card and flip it face down, and also if this card is sent to the graveyard from your hand or field, you can target one monster in the field and flip it face down, which is a very cool effect. Then we've got the one copy of Baku, which is another form of interesting extender. If it's added from deck to hand, you can special summon it onto the field, and if it's special summon, you can target one ninja or ninjutsu art card from your graveyard and add it to your hand, which are just great ways to continue extending. I already explained what Hanzo does. It basically allows you to add a bunch of things from your deck to hand, and it's also not once per turn, which is great. I then play one copy of Kagero, which has two effects. One, when it's normal special summon, you can target one ninja monster and special summon from your hand or graveyard in fence down defense position. And when your opponent activates a card or effect that targets exactly one ninja monster while this card in your graveyard, you can special summon this card in face down defense position. And if you do return the targeted card to the hand. And for the last one, it is Geo. Geo allows you to flip two monsters on the field face down, and if they are opponent's monsters, they cannot change their battle positions. As of the ninjutsu arts, I'm gonna start by discussing the ninjutsu art notebook of mystery. This is an interesting searcher for the deck, but it is a little bit annoying that you need your opponent to have something on the field to activate it. Regardless, you can set up to one ninja or one ninjutsu art, but you can only choose one of each and you can only special summon one from the graveyard and one from the deck. Moving on to the Iron Digger, this is your equip spell that allows you to pop something and when it's destroyed, you can special summon a banished ninja monster from your banished zone. For the trap cards, we've got the ninjutsu art of duplication. This allows you to tribute a ninja monster and special summon any number of ninja monsters that equal its level. And this is a great way to search out a bunch of things and you can also also pair it with Mazen's effect, special summon from the deck, Geo, then go and special summon a bunch of monsters off of duplication. I wouldn't suggest you play more than one copy of this because it is searchable and it's not really necessary to play it as more than one. And then we have the three copies of the Dancing Leaves. Now this card allows you to target one ninja monster, one face down defense position monster on the field, tribute it, and if you do special summon one ninja monster from your deck. And yes, that's right, you can also tribute your opponent's monster and for that reason it is a good form of removal for the deck. And also when this card leaves the field, you can target one ninjutsu art spell or trap and return it to your hand. The only Kerbal card I think is the Field Spell because you don't really need that. It's more of a meme card to run in the deck, but sometimes it is kind of cool. So I would suggest you just try it out and then decide whether to run it or not. Now for the extra deck, we have the three copies of Yoguramaru and three copies of Mazen. These are both a must to have in the deck. These are really good. And you basically fusion someone every single turn. I then have the two copies of Saizu. Now this card is great because it allows you to search out an Injutsu art, but I don't think you need the three copies of two. It's completely fine. With the one copy of Cross Sheep, which is the MVP of the deck, you already know guys. Guys, this is a must to play. The bottle sword for the two card combo and the Apollosa for the three card combo are here as well. And as of the XC monsters, I just play Gigantic Sprite, which pairs well with the Downward Magician and the Divine Arsenal Zeus. You could get rid of Downward Magician, by the way. It's not necessary to play these cards, and they very rarely will come up, but they are just the best you can run with the rest of the package. And for the last card, it is one copy of Blade Armor Ninja, which basically allows a ninja monster to attack directly. And that is how you play ninjas. If you enjoyed the video, consider dropping a like and subscribe. Also, comment down below what you think about the deck and what you think about the combos or any other combo suggestions that you might have for people to learn and i'll see you in the next one have a great day